In a previous video, I did a steel test where I um, did a cut test with some different steels from different manufacturers. Um, we did a Victorinox um, Tinker. We did a stainless steel case Sodbuster Jr. And we did a carbon steel Sodbuster Jr. And the results of that test were kind of shocking. They were kind of surprising. Um, the first thing that was odd about it was um, I was expecting the um, stainless steel case not to do near as good as it did. And in that particular test, um, I found that it was the best performing steel out of all three steels. I got the most slices out of a cardboard box with it before it got to the place where I felt the blade needed touched up. Um, that test um, come out that the Victorinox got 250 um, strips through a cardboard box before I felt that it was getting dull and needed sharpened. The um, carbon steel case, which is Case's new steel, they're 1095, where they're labeling it just CS on the blade, it got 280 um, slices through the cardboard. And the stainless steel, Case's True Sharp, got 300. And I stopped at 300. It was still slicing pretty good. It was starting to lose its edge a little, but it was still slicing pretty good. So I figured that was good enough with that particular um, blade. Um, it outperformed the others in that particular test. Now, those results shocked me. And um, it was not what I was expecting. All the blades were just as easy to resharpen. In that way, they were all super easy on a ceramic stone, a few swipes. And they were razor sharp again and popped the hair right off my arm. Now, I had thought about doing a test between Case's CV steel and Case's carbon steel. And I'd been thinking about doing that test then to see if their older steel, maybe, um, their older carbon steel may have held a better edge. And when I was thinking about it, it was commented down in the comments um, something about doing that test. And um, he's a good commenter, comments, and he's very helpful in his comments. And so I told him I'd do it. And so this is for you, plus for our own curiosity, uh, let's see how these two steels are going to perform. These are the two knives that I think would be best for the test. And this one right here, these are both 032 Stockmans from Case. This one, as you can see, is a 2024. It's got the new... Um, carbon steel in it. And this this one here is a, um, let me get it open here, you can see it. It's 2016. And this one has cases older, um, chrome vanadium steel. You can see they are the same, um, they are the same knife. Only difference being the um, eight years and a different steel. Now, um, to make this interesting, we're going to use the pin blade to do this test. You can see the one on the bottom is the CV steel, and the one, well, the one on the left now is the CV steel. The one on the right is the carbon steel. But I thought this would be a pretty fair test because we've got the same blade on the same knife, just in the different steels. Um, now... To the best of my ability, I have these two knives at the same sharpness. Now, there's always variables and such, but to the best of my ability, I have the same sharpness on both of these blades. So I'm going to go um, 40 slices at a time, and every 40 slices or so, I'm going to um, recheck the edge and see which one starts to lose its edge the quickest, and then we will test... Um, we will write down when it loses its edge, and at that point, we will see how many um, swipes it takes on a ceramic stone like this one to bring the edge around, or maybe um, the ceramic stone won't bring the edge around. But in this test, we are going to um, check this out. And how I am going to test the sharpness is if it um, catches on my fingernail, it's going to be my first test. Then it will stop um, popping hairs on your arm, and at that point, I'm going to move to testing it on a magazine paper. And when it will no longer easily slice through the magazine paper, 
I am going to consider the edge to have started to dull. And so that's my plan. So I'm going to work on it. Um, we will do the carbon steel blade first. And I'll be back to check in to let you know some of my results here in a, just a second. This is the first check-in. We are at about 110 um, slices um, with the carbon steel knife. Um, this is the CV. They both started off the same sharpness. So this was how the carbon steel knife started off. Um, about that sharpness. And this is how the carbon steel knife is doing after 110 slices. You can hear it's still slicing, but it is certainly um, not slicing as smooth as it was when it began, like this one is. So that's 110 slices in. It is no longer catching on my fingernail, as you can see. And it will not shave any hair, but it is still slicing paper pretty good. So I'm going to keep on testing. Again, this is 110 slices in with the carbon steel, Case's newer carbon steel. Be back in a bit. We are now at um, 200 slices with the um, carbon steel knife. We'll get a fresh piece of paper here to test and see how we're coming along. It feels like it's starting to um, dull. And again, I'm not checking to see when the knife is totally dull. I'm just checking to see when the edge really starts to roll and to lose its shape. Now, one thing I should have said at the beginning of the video is I don't expect this pen knife to hold its edge as long as the Sodbusters did because the Sodbusters had a, um, a thinner angle on them. It had a leaner angle where this has a thicker angle on it. It's just the way that I sharpen my pen blades. But because it's got a thicker angle, um, I don't believe it will stay sharp as long. Um, nevertheless, um, we're testing here to see how it does. Oh, that's getting pretty. Let's see here. Yeah, I'm thinking that we're going to have to bow the carbon steel out there. That's... You can baby it along, but it is not slicing well. Um, to compare it to um, the other blade, this blade was the same sharpness here. You can see it's just um, much better. So yeah, that um, it's definitely been... That's how the um, pin blade started, just like that sheep's foot. But now it's really... Um, You can baby it through, but for this test, I'm going to say that that edge is losing its grip. It's starting to dull. So we are going to bow the carbon steel case. I'm going to bow it out at 200 slices through the cardboard. Next comes its um, older brother, the CV steel case. We're going to see how it, um, how it performs, just to show how it starts off um, right from the start. That's how it's cutting. I'm good and sharp. So, um, see you in a few swipes. Let you know how the CV's coming along. Again, we have um, bowed out the um, CS steel case at 200 swipes. It would still cut through paper, but it was struggling. See you in a bit. Coming in for a quick test at 40 slices with the um, CV steel um Case Stockman. Again, this is only 40 slices. I don't expect to see much difference yet. Nope, still slicing pretty good. I'll try to come back at 100 slices in and test and see the progress. We have now arrived at 100 um, slices through the cardboard with the CV steel case knife. Um, I will say this is some hard cardboard. My blade's heating up. I can feel the heat off the blade from all the friction. 
some tough cardboard. Yeah, we're 100 slices in. Let's see how we're, how we're doing. As I said before, we're at the point where it, it doesn't grab on my fingernail right now. And I definitely can't shave with it. But um, the main test we're doing is to see where it um, starts having trouble shaving the paper smoothly. It's still sh cutting the paper pretty good. But um, I can tell that it's starting to get just a little bit dull, but we're going to keep going because it's not to the point that the um, carbon steel knife got to yet. Again, we're 100 slices in. I'll check back in at 150. Okay, we are now at 150 slices with um, Case's um, CV steel knife. It's getting pretty jagged, I have to say. You, If you baby it, you can still get it to slice through the paper, but I'm having to try really hard there. Um, yeah, I'm having to try pretty hard right there. I believe that that blade is about at the point where um, we bowed out with the, um, with the carbon steel knife. Let's test them here. Um, here's the carbon steel um, And uh, here's the CV still. I'm afraid that they're about the same level of sharpness. It's to the point where you can kind of baby it through the paper, but it will not um, easily slice through the paper. Yeah, these two blades, as far as I can tell, are about the same sharpness. Um... So that's interesting results. Just to show how um, we began, let me um, show the um, sheep's foot blades on these knives. This was the sharpness that we began this test with. That's how we began with the carbon steel and this chrome vanadium knife, same way. You can see just, we had them good and razor sharp. And so I think I'm gonna call that at the test. The cardboard that I was cutting in this test was a lot harder than the cardboard that I was cutting in the test the other day. And that, combined with the smaller blade and the steeper angle on these pin blades, caused us to not get as many slices with each kind of steel. But it's not as important how many slices we get with each amount of steel as it is their relationship to each other. So the last thing we have to do now is see what it takes to bring um, each edge back to um, razor sharp. Um, we're going to first try it on this um, ceramic stone. We're going to do the um, carbon steel knife first. Gonna maybe we'll give it two strips on that side. Two strips on that side, and then one more coming back. That feels like it brought it right back to razor sharp. Let's test it here. This piece of paper here is just about just about done, I'm afraid. Grabbing my fingernail, but let me go over it just a few more times here. A lot of times I've found this thousand grit ceramic stone will bring the edge right back. That's not quite as sharp as we started, but it certainly is uh, certainly is coming around. Let's see if I can. Uh, yeah, that's sharp enough to shave, so that's about how many it took to bring this um, carbon steel knife around. Now let's try it with this um, CV case. 
see if this is, I'm guessing it's going to be easier to bring this one around. Because I'm thinking this steel is a little bit um, harder than this um, older CV. But let's try and see. We'll do the same thing we did with the other one the first go. Two of these on each side. And then one more coming toward us. Yeah, it's grabbing pretty good. Let's just see if it'll shave right off the bat. Oh, it will. This one's razor sharp again. Let's get a good piece of paper and we'll end out by one more good slice here. And then we'll call that our uh, test. Um, so the CV knife, sliced right through, razor sharp again. The CS knife, slices through, but it needs a little more, it needs a little more work. So I'm going to have to work on this um, carbon steel blade a little more to um, resharpen it. It's coming along, but it's just not quite um, where I'm wanting it yet. But nevertheless, I think this does give us the answer to our uh, test right here. Um, which knife holds a better edge? Well, the answer from this test is the case's new um, carbon steel holds a better edge. See if I can get it to focus. Holds a better edge than their older um, CV steel, according to this test. We got 200 slices through the cardboard with the um, new carbon steel. And we only got 150 slices with the older CV steel. And so, according to this test, again, we were cutting through super stiff cardboard. In my opinion, um, the case's newer carbon steel holds an edge a little better, but it's a little bit harder to sharpen. Um, this um, CV came right around. You saw a lot easier. And it's a lot sharper again. I'm going to have to spend a little more time working on this um, CS blade to... Um, get it razor sharp again. So I think the CS wins in terms of edge holding, edge retention, and the CV wins in terms of ease to sharpen. This was kind of a messy video, and it wasn't very professional, kind of a redneck take, but it's better than breaking the tripod last time in the middle of recording the video. So when you're working with a redneck, you have to take what you can get. Like they say, it starts off slow and tapers off to nothing. Everybody out there, comment what you think about the test and do the test on your own. You can probably do it better and more professional than I can and let me know your results. Y'all have a good day and keep your knives sharp.